Today, let's have a look at the official train reservation website of the largest railway company under the Japan Railways Group to see how to buy Japan train tickets online before you come to Japan. This video is not sponsored. I just want to share with you what we actually use to buy our train tickets when we travel in Japan so that you can use it as a reference when you come visit. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to help me create more content. I really appreciate it. Now let's dive right in. The website I want to share with you today is called ekinet.com. So what is Ekinet? Ekinet is the official ticket booking website of the JR East Company. This is the largest passenger railway company of Japan Railways Group and it operates the JR trains in Tokyo area, Hokuriku and Tohoku area. So basically northeast of Tokyo. For that reason, you can use this website to purchase train tickets in the areas that the JR East operates. For example, going from Tokyo areas to Nagano, Sendai, Fukushima, Aomori, etc. So when do you use this Ekinet website? If you just use a commuter train, you don't need this website. You can just buy a normal ticket at a ticket machine at the train station before boarding the train. Or you can pay for the train ticket using an IC card at the ticket gates. This website is for reserving seats on inner city trains and bullet trains or Shinkansen. Let me show you some examples within the website so that it's easier to understand. So from your web browser, search for Ekinet English. Click on the JR East train reservation link to access to the website. And this is what it looks like. In order to use the website, you'll need to create an account. After you provide your email address, you will receive an email from JR East with a link for you to register your account. Let me show you how you can create an account on your phone. To create your account, you'll need to provide basic information of yours like your name, birthday, country of your passport, and your phone number that you use in your country. Then create a password for this Ekinet account. After that, you need to provide information of your credit card that you want to use on this account. If your card is accepted, your account will be activated right away and you can log in to start buying tickets. This is the main interface when you log in. Basically, there are two options. Option one is for passengers who are considering buying a pass or for those who already have a pass and are using this website to reserve a seat. And option two is for passengers who don't have a pass and just want to buy a one-off ticket. As you can see, the only difference is whether you have a pass or not. So what is a pass? What kind of pass is available and should you buy one? A pass is like a set of discount tickets that might or might not help you save money. It depends on how you use the pass. Let's have a look at the passes they have here and take an example to see when you should and should not buy a pass. For now, there are eight passes on this website. And when you click on a pass, you'll see the area where you can use the pass highlighted on the map with location names, as well as the price, valid time of the pass, and most importantly, who can buy the pass. Some of the passes are only available to those with a temporary visitor visa status, and some of them are also available to foreigners who are living in Japan. For example, the NEX or the Narita Express Tokyo Rail Trip Ticket is available to both visitors and foreigners living in Japan. 
If you buy a one-off ticket of the Narita Express, the one-way ticket price is 3,070 yen or 6,140 yen in total for a round trip. Which means if you buy this pass at 4,070 yen, you can save more than 2,000 yen, which is 34%. So this is really a good deal. In another example, let's say you want to go to Kawaguchiko to enjoy the amazing view of Mount Fuji over Lake Kawaguchi. A ticket from Shinjuku Station in Tokyo to Kawaguchiko Station is 4,130 yen or 8,260 yen for a round trip. Whereas if you buy the Tokyo White Pass, which covers this trip, the cost is 10,180 yen, which is more than 20% more expensive. So if you only go to one location included in the pass, it might not worth buying the pass. But if you go to two locations or more, the pass can save you money. For example, if you can combine a round trip to Kawaguchiko with a round trip from Narita Airport to Tokyo, it's gonna be cheaper to buy the Tokyo White Pass than buying all the tickets separately. I leave a link below so that you can check out all the passes in details. Now let's see how to buy a one-off ticket. On the front page of your account, click on Purchase tickets. Then click on search by station and type in your departure station and arrival station. Let's say we want to buy a ticket from Narita Airport Terminal 2 to Tokyo Station. Select the day when you want to go and select the time you want to get on the train or you can set it to be the time you want to arrive at your destination. And then select the number of tickets for adults or children that you want to buy. After that, click on search to find the suitable trains. Then you can select the train you want to get on and confirm details of the ticket before proceeding to the next step where you can select the seat you like from a map. Moving on, you can select where you want to pick up your ticket. For example, you can pick it up at Narita Airport or Haneda Airport or any station on the list that is close to your place. And you can also pick it up anytime at a ticket machine, which is a lot faster. I'll show you how in a minute. For now, you need to check the details of your tickets and if you're fine with it, click reserve now to finalize your reservation. So how to get on the train after you buy a ticket online? There are two ways to get on the train after purchasing tickets online. The first way is to use a paper ticket. You can pick up this paper ticket at a ticket counter at a location that you set. Or you can pick up the ticket at a ticket machine using the QR code you got after buying the ticket online. On your departure day or any day after you buy the ticket, you can go to one of the ticket machines at the station and print out the ticket using the QR code. And then insert the paper ticket at the gate to get on the train. This method works for both express trains and bullet trains. The second way is to integrate the ticket you buy online with your IC card if you have one and use the IC card at the ticket gate. You can use any IC card for this method, including the 28-day IC card for visitors like the Welcome Suica card. However, for now, this method only works for bullet trains. It doesn't apply for express trains. So that's how you can buy train tickets on the Ekinet website directly from the JR East. Previously, I shared with you how to buy Shinkansen tickets on an app called SmartX. So what's the difference between Ekinet and SmartX? SmartX is an app and website by JR Central, JR West, and JR Kyushu that allows you to buy Shinkansen tickets from Tokyo to southwest areas in Japan, 
it doesn't sell express train tickets. On the other hand, Ekinet is a website by JR East that allows you to buy both express train and Shinkansen tickets from Tokyo to northeast areas of Japan. While SmartX has discounts for early bookings, Ekinet gives you the option to buy a pass to save money if you travel to multiple locations covered in the pass. But what if you don't know which pass to buy? Well, in that case, you just type in the station name where you want to go to, and it will suggest the passes accordingly. You only need to do the calculation on whether you need a pass or not, and make sure you check their official website for latest updates. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're coming to visit Japan, check out other videos on my channel about travel tips in Japan. I hope you can find some helpful information for your trip. Until my next video, take care and have a nice day.